Hi and welcome to the Video Skills Interview Workshop here at the beautiful Gilwell Park in Chinkford which is just inside the M25 uh, in East London. Today we're going to be talking to Robbie Fleming who's uh, here from Atomos. He's going to be talking about their portable recording devices and also some of their sexy little gadgets for converting HDMI to SDI. So welcome. Hi Robbie. Hello. Can you tell us a little bit more about the uh, Atomos company? What we wanted to do as a company was to get an innovative product. And that's what we've strived for with the Ninja, which is now being available since NAB, and also the Samurai, which we released at IBC last week. Can you tell me a little bit about the Ninja and Samurai products? What we actually decided we wanted to do was make something really innovative. So what we've actually done is, first thing was to add a touch screen. We've made it so it's one click away and really simple to use. Also means that we can add features as and when we want to. Uh, and we do do that quite often and as have done so far. The other one is, is where we actually actually come up with a continuous battery system. This gives me the ability of going from one battery as that depletes jumps to the next. Even in record mode I can actually pull a battery out and replace it and continue on. And that's great in, in weddings and conferencing modes where you actually have a long record and you can do that. The other thing is, is media and really what we've tried to do, and I'll just show you, what we've tried to do is um, go to media that's actually easy, obtainable and inexpensive. So we've actually gone to normal laptop hard drives, 54,000 spin, that will give me eight hours of recording at ProRes 422 record, uh, uh, editing formats. So we can also use SSDs and they just slot in and that gives you up to eight hours of recording time. And how does the Samurai product differ? The Samurai is different. It has HD, SDI in and out. It also has the ability to play out the SDI as well. So it becomes not just a recorder, but also a player, almost a small deck. Also, it has a bigger screen and, and higher res screen. So actually you can use it really well as an EVF. You've got some new products in the pipeline. Perhaps you can tell us about what we're going to see from Atomos in the future. One of the, uh, the things we've always planned was, um, and always asked about, is why don't we actually have both IOs on the product? So, um, and the reason for that is we've actually just brought a new product called the Connect. And the Connect is a standalone converter that actually clips onto the back of either our Ninja or our Samurai and actually gives us more IO. So therefore, on the Samurai, I can actually add HDMI in and out by using a, a Connect. You're exhibiting at Pro Video 2011 in a few weeks' time. Can you tell me what the punter's going to find on the Atomos stand? We, we will have all the, um, all the range there. One thing we do is we want people to touch and feel. So we will have demo systems there that they can actually touch, use, and we're editing systems they can jump into. So the good thing about the editing-wise is because it's ProRes, we can go into Edius, Vegas, um, Premiere, and obviously Final Cuts, both of them. Thanks for coming to see us today, Robbie. And we'll see you in a few weeks at Pro Video.